Oh, it is glorious here today. Hello, hello, hello. And what a great place to be on a Friday at the beach. And it is beautiful. It was 83 degrees today. Or no, that was 88, 83 yesterday. And um, well, there's a lot going on in the world. And in order for us to remain healthy with all that's going on in the world, we must have fun. And since it's Friday today, I thought it would be perfect to talk about fun. Fun and laughter combined. So uh, there are a lot of things that laughter can do for us as far as healing. It can reduce stress, boost our immune system, it's great for people that are depressed. In other words, if you continue to participate in activities where you're laughing, like board games with your family, where you win, that could be fun, or maybe Cards Against Humanity, or watching somebody that you think is just wonderfully funny, you know, whether it's on Netflix or YouTube or wherever, but anything that will make you laugh is very healing. My dog makes me laugh. <laughs> All right, so we know laughter boosts your immune system. Laughter also uh, reduces stress. Laughter is good for people with depression. It can actually get you out of your depression. It is, um, let's see, it tightens your abdominal muscles. It, um, <laughs> oh, it's a pain reliever. Imagine that. So it's interesting because one of my clients' mothers is in the hospital, not in the hospital, but she's, she has been in the hospital, had surgery, and she's not doing very well. And to put it mildly, her Adam, Adam, her, her attitude stinks. And so she's got a very negative attitude. She's very grumpy and miserable and doesn't laugh or even smile. And so, you know, she has this curmudgeon type of attitude. She's not healing. So laughter will help you heal your bones after surgery. Laughter will help you heal your sutures. Just don't laugh too much. <laughs> laughter will help you overcome diseases. Laughter heals. Okay, so the other aspect that I was going to mention is fun and if you were brought up in a dysfunctional family like most of us were and certainly my family